Today is International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. The United Nations chose this day, 29th of November, to mark the shameful day in 1947 when the UN voted to partition Palestine against the wishes of the indigenous people. 73 years on, the Palestinians continue to suffer the disastrous consequences of that imperial decision to allow the colonization of their land. Also on this day, 19 years ago, our organization, the Island Palestine Solidarity Campaign, was formed here in Ireland to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Our team of volunteers have worked tirelessly throughout these years for the Palestinian rights. Today, we reaffirm our solidarity with all Palestinians in historic Palestine, with all Palestinian political prisoners, women, men, and children in apartheid Israeli jails, and with the millions of refugees struggling to make their legally guaranteed right of return a reality by returning to their homes. And we also reaffirm our support for the Palestinian-led boycott, divestment and sanction, the BDS movement, until Israel complies with international law. As the threats facing the Palestinian people in, uh, intensify day by day, our response will be to give more and to do even more. The Israeli government continues to press ahead with its gross violation of international law and Palestinian human rights, accelerating the ongoing colonization of yet more Palestinian land. Apartheid Israel has continued to demolish homes and buildings in the occupied West Bank. 2020 has seen the highest level of Palestinian home demolition in four years, despite the COVID-19 pandemic which has left over 400 uh, people homeless, many of whom are children. Israel continue, continues to subject Gaza to an ever-tightening land, air and sea blockade, making life unbearable for the nearly 2 million Palestinians there. The majority of them refugees from Israel ethnic cleansing trapped in the enclave. Like Palestinian refugees everywhere, they are denied the right of return to their homes from which their parents or grandparents were expelled. The Irish government must hold Israel accountable for gross violation and international law and take action by enacting the Occupied Territories Bill to ban trade with illegal Israeli settlements goods and sanction Israel until complies with international law. The Irish police must end their collaboration with Israel Ministry of Public Security, which is responsible for killing, torture, home demolition and uh, uh, violence racism. The Irish people know that when governments fail to act, everyday people like us must. With your support, we will amplify the Palestinian people's call for freedom, justice, equality and right of return. Join us. Free, free Palestine.